Welcome to the part 33 of Sonic 06 playthrough and Mephilus. This is the plot McGuffkin. McGuffkin? McDuckin. McDuckin? McDuckin. Plot McDuckin. McDuckin. I don't actually, even he's not know. holding it, but actually. And the, the, the weird thing is. Yeah. The color. It's the color of the emerald. Yeah. It's usually the green. Or the yellow. That's the big plot one. And in this case, it's the yellow. Like in an Adventure 2. Yeah, they... What? Hello, but... Mephilus. Are you one Mephilus or are there two? I can't tell. That's the thing. But, anyways, actually... what I was actually saying is Mephilus now has the green emerald, which doesn't make any sense because Shadow had it for the longest time. Did Mephilus just randomly Wait, go green. in his. Well, he pocketed him. I was about to say, I don't see a green emerald here, I okay. see the, I see the okay. yellow one. Okay, well, we'll see it after this battle, then. Never mind. Just wait. So what, is it? Does he have it stored up as behind like everyone else does? Yeah. Well, sludge. Sure you regret this. Also, out of curiosity, I'm not sure if it's been brought up yet, but I hear a lot of people always saying, oh, there are two Mephiluses. Is it actually a case of two Mephiluses, or is it a case of time travel puts him in two places at once? They so might be time travel, time actually. Time it, it's, it's time travel puts him in two places. Yeah, that's probably so he's what literally it is. overlapping his own timeline and just causing havoc. Yeah. I mean, it's not surprising oh, because he's been messing with the timeline ever since the beginning of the whole entire story. Yeah. But also, you can kind of say it could be two Mephiluses because at the end of this battle, he multiplies by, like, infinity. There's, like, hundreds and hundreds of Mephilus clones out here. Now, first time I played this, I didn't really get a good rank. What you're supposed to actually do, you're not, you can't attack Mephilus directly right now. What you have to do is you have to do the same, kind of similar what you did before. You have to build up your gauge again. Yeah, and, and that will make him reveal, and you'll be able to attack him. Yeah. So it's another one of those grinding do, games. Yeah. Well, only thing you can do is kill these big enemies, and the only way you can attack them is by attacking their eye, their yeah. big eye. And can I say something? I really like Mephilus Phase 2's music. Yeah, no, the music in this phase is actually pretty good. I, I do like this theme. I'm just waiting. I was like, you see, you're bored jumping up and down like Omega did in the results screen earlier. Yeah, I was just trying to. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get hit. Yep. <sighs> as long as you don't die, we're good. And there's plenty of rings, so you hopefully shouldn't die. Yeah, it goes that way, pretty much. Yeah, that, that, that's true. Final boss, what can you do? Well, final boss of this story. There we go. Now I finally got his eye. There we go. Oh my god. Now, you <laughs> said you can attack him directly before all this happens? You you cannot. You, you can see him, you can try to attack him, but you'll, you'll hear the brink, 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 like the blocking noise. Oh, so you basically just bounce right off him? Yeah, I'll bounce right off him when you attack him. Yeah, I, I think I did it right at the beginning of the battle. Did you see it? I I don't remember. <laughs> That's yeah. why. Well, I yes, I believe short so. Memory. Maybe? There we go. Now Mephilus comes out and then we can attack him. And if we can find him. Yeah, if you can find him, you can attack him. There we go. What happens if you mix around Chaos Boost with the King, with the, um, King Boom Boo boss fight? It's kind yeah. of the same kind of premise. Light yeah. up the area and find him. This guy really moves around really fast in the arena. It's actually kind of annoying for what I'm seeing. The camera is not helping here. Yeah, no, the camera never helps. <laughs> no, you know what's so stupid, though? He makes multiple c copies of himself. You'll see it. Yeah. But it doesn't really, he's like, can you find me, looking for me, but the camera's looking right at him, so I'm like, okay, I've got you. Yeah, no, you. it's very pointless, it really is. <laughs> the only like, use for the clones is basically using them to get two Mephilus, which you're screwing up. I love the how if you homing attack them, it actually knocks their shadow right out of their body. Yeah. Yeah. I am forever. But that I was it. invincible. Not so invincible, man. <sighs> that speech! I think I heard that before. It sounds like something right out of Sonic Heroes Final Boss. I wonder. <laughs> I yeah, seriously, though, Metal... Uh, spoilers, Metal Sonic and uh, Final Boss. <laughs> what? I just love how everyone just ran over to you. Like, oh wait, results screen over here, shit. <laughs> Run. Yeah. <laughs> but, Shadow just now, going, the final oh, boss I'm red, by the way. Sonic Heroes says basically that same line. It's like, I'm invincible, I'm immortal, how'd you kill me? And I think even... Black Doom said the same thing in Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. 
or something very similar. Let me show it's you weird. Just Immortal what I'm made life form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is like the third time in the Sonic games we've heard this. It, it's really kind of stupid that, if that's the case. Shadow, I will seal you in this ice cream cone. Huh. I actually like this scene. I don't know why. It's just, I, I come back and watch this a lot. One of the better CG scenes in the game. Nope. And, nope, it didn't work. There was a crack in it. It's destroyed. That's when you get for putting it back together with duct tape. <laughs> exactly. This happens. That's why I gotta use super glue. I mean, come on. It would hold better. What may have worked ten years ago no longer dies. Pretty much, our asses get handed to us again. Basically, he uses that little shockwave move like Cole uses in Infamous, to push you straight back. I just Pretty love how. Much. Anyways, this is what I was talking about. Oh yeah, it comes out of nowhere emerald. with the green it comes emerald. Out, like, didn't Shadow have this? Yeah, he had the emerald, and it just out of nowhere, Mephiles pulls out another emerald. Oh, here's the thing. Think about it this way: How many times does he knock Shadow flat on his butt? I'm sure he probably dropped the emerald. Yeah, they never show it, so it's never explained. But that's basically what you have mind. to assume. Do keep in mind, Shadow Shadow can still use his chaos powers just at a shorter range, even without the emerald. And he's... he can still fight and stuff. Yeah, exactly. This cutscene is going to demonstrate how much power he has without the emeralds. He basically pulls a Sonic X here, where it takes off the bracelets, and he has more power. Yeah. This he is straight from inhibitor. Sonic X. Yeah, the inhibitor rings, which... Yeah. Annoyingly, they take... they do that, but they don't really show off the effect that it has on his power beyond here. Yeah, this is the only... And they never really come back to it. They never really come back to it, which is unfortunate because I think this is actually the only off, game they do this too. Yeah, taking off the inhibitor rings actually multiplies his power to the point that he's pretty much not actually siphoning it off. He's just basically going, I'm not gonna hold it back, I'm just gonna unleash everything all at once. Yeah. Look at me, I'll potentially explode in about three minutes. <laughs> and basically, yeah. Like Ow. I did with like I did with Silver Playthrough. I sped it up, but I like the song, so I didn't want to keep completely yeah. taking out, so... I don't blame you for keeping yeah. the song in. But this I mean, is I, all Hail Shadow is one of the... All Hail Shadow. <laughs> mm. All Hail Shadow is one of the uh, best themes I heard come from this game, and actually, the All Hail Shadow from this game is better than the Shadow of the yeah. Hedgehog rendition. Crush probably just did a much better job. I'm way game. more... I'm way more powerful than the one from Sonic Next Gen. I'll agree with you on yeah. that. In fact, I never really hear the Shadow the Hedgehog version used outside of that game. When Sega reuses All Hail Shadow, they use the Crust 40 uh, version anymore. That's what they Pretty use much. in Generation. But, yeah, I just, there was the roundhouse kick again, Marley, if you wanted to see it. It was kind of sped up. If you wanted to see the sped up version. <laughs> I wanted to speed up, uh, speed up roundhouse kick. <laughs> but, anyways, just... This is the end of Shadows playthrough, thank goodness. Yep, which means we only one. have one more thing to do, and it's the last story, which should take up like two more parts. And it's going to take mm. That's why I say that, because I already know ahead of time. Indeed. No, we're almost done with this game, folks. Hurrah! It's been a long journey, but we're almost there. The game is almost done. Then we can go on to a different Sonic one. Which is gonna be probably Generations. Stop, can stop us now. Shadow is eating cow. For some reason, I can't rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't rhyme, so I'm just... Nah, I give up. <laughs> so now when you say he's eating cow, I'm not picturing him eating a hamburger. No, I'm picturing him eating a physical cow. That's a disturbing image. <laughs> I know! Who wanted to be eaten by a talking hedgehog that is the size of a human? <laughs> Actually, no. Bigger than a human in this game's case. Shadow, Shadow stars in Earthworm Jim and just eats every cow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What? <laughs> Him and Earthworm Jim have a cow eating competition. <laughs> what? <laughs> you started this. Good point. <laughs> Sad but true. Yeah. Whoops. 
Also, this is Clement's favorite song because he'll sing it in the car. He actually recorded it himself. Well, that, that was more or less something that was mentioned in Brain Scratch wanted him to do it. Mm. it. Took him like, I think, two years to get to it, but he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Johnny, what was it? Johnny the one that dared him to do it? <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, it's been so yeah. long since I watched that playthrough. Maybe. <laughs> I just, I know people. It's just like, eh. Like, yeah, I know I could credits. take, I could take the credits out, but eh. I don't want but to. all hail shadow. But all hail good, shadow. Good That's song. <laughs> but all hail shadow, exactly. The music in this game is too good. I'd rather not. Havoc. What the hell you do? Yeah, Havoc was a Havoc engine back in this day. They really got themselves fixed up. Yeah, it was all Havoc and no year. engine. <laughs> I think after 2006, when their engine was actually more fine-tuned, because mm -hmm. it was kind of unstable for certain games, mainly this one. And then after 06, it got much better. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Special thanks to all staff members and their families for making this for a up with this. <laughs> I know we rag on this game a lot, but I know it could be worse, honestly. Yeah. Sonic Blast on Game Gear. <laughs> Sonic exactly. Labyrinth on Game Gear. A lot of the and games on Game Gear. Well, anyways, guys, on to the final episode. Or, or two. final two episodes. Well, you can't count. You can understand what I'm saying. On final episode of this game. 